Have you ever wanted to scuba dive in the best and biggest reef system in the whole entire world, also known as the Great Barrier Reef? 1.6 million tourists visit the reef each and every year. 61% of these visitors are international and 30% are between the ages of 21 and 30. So if you think at any point in your lifetime you're going to want to visit the Great Barrier Reef, you have to start fighting for the reef right now. Recently, the Australian government gave the Australian coal industry permission to do major coal expansion projects right on the territory of the Great Barrier Reef. This is a huge problem. These coal expansion projects will increase the number of ships going in and out of the reef's canals each year from 1,700 ships to over 10,000 ships by the year 2020. That is a tenfold increase in both the number of ships passing through the reef's waterways each year, as well as the risk of one of those ships having an accident. In the past, the reef has experienced various accidents, such as oil spills or grounding scars, which is what happens when a ship comes in and runs aground on a piece of coral, ruining and killing whatever coral and life is in the way, destroying and clearing it, and leaving a huge grounding scar. These accidents resulting from human mistakes usually cause permanent and unrecoverable damage to the reef's ecosystems as well as the animals that live there. So we need to stand up and fight and say that we will not let more ships travel in the reef's waters. Recently, Abbott Point was approved to become the largest coal port in the world. To do this, the Australian government gave permission to the coal industry, allowing them to dig up 3 million cubic meters of dredged spoil, which consists of sand, sediments, and whatever else is on the ocean floor, in order to make room for more ships that are going to be traveling in and out of the reef's canals. The coal industry received permission to take these millions of tons of dredged spoil, adding up to the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, and just dump them somewhere else in the reef's waters. Ew. We have to fight to save the reef because it is so special. The reef is made up of 3,000 individual reef systems and runs along 1,600 miles of the Australian coastline. In the United States, that would be like driving all the way up from Maine and all the way down to Georgia. That trip would take you about 23 hours. The Great Barrier Reef is also one of the world's most diverse ecosystems. 1,500 species of fish can be found on the reef. It is also home to six of the world's seven endangered sea turtle species, 133 ray and shark species, and one third of the world's soft coral. If the reef is destroyed, many of these species found just in the water of the Great Barrier Reef would become extinct. The Great Barrier Reef's existence is being threatened and everyone around the world should care. The international community needs to stand up against the Australian government and say that their prioritizing of putting the coal industry above the Great Barrier Reef is not okay and will not be tolerated any longer. Over 81,000 people signed a petition for the World Heritage Committee, which resulted in them putting the Australian government on notice for their treatment of the Great Barrier Reef. Please visit the link in the description box below to learn how you can stand up and fight for the reef. When visiting the link, you can sign your name, share the mission with friends through social media, write letters to your government representatives, donate money to the various legal battles, and just learn more about the fight against the Australian government and the Australian coal industry. Just as Bob Irwin, the late Steve Irwin's father, has said, it's your reef, but you're going to have to fight for it.